If you own a Matsura multi-pallet machine and you're looking to optimize its performance, then you need the remote intelligent machine monitoring software developed here in the UK by Matsura. It's safe to say Matsura have sold a lot of multi-pallet machines here in the UK, but most of your customers, Ronnie, have actually invested in this software to go with it. So what's the draw? The, the draw is you want to make sure when you leave the machine at night, it runs all the way through. So RIM stands for Remote Intelligent Machine Monitoring. So if I just show you through it, we've got all the machines connected in the showroom. We've got seven machines connected. Straight away, you can see the state of each machine. So we've got two machines which are running, which are in green, all the rest are stopped, which is not ideal because you want, want, want them running. But from there, you can drill into any of these machines and find out the status. So the status itself, this shows you the pallet number in the machine, the face it's machining, the tool and pot number, program it's running, whether the feed rate's 100%, rapid's 100%, spindle speed is set correctly, and any switches on the machine with any messages. So for, for a start, that just shows you the state of the machine. You can drill even further into the machine and look at the tools. And tool life is so important when yes. you're running lights out, yeah. isn't yeah. it? So, so important because if you run out of tool life, the machine stops. It's going to stop. If, if you don't forecast you're going to run out of tool life, you can't do anything with it. Yeah. If you forecast you're going to run out of tool life at 2 o'clock in the morning, yeah. you can put a sister tool in. Of course you can. And it kind of carries on through. So yes, tool life is very, very important. Um, it's all about tooling. When you want unmanned running, it's all about tool management. And that's what RIM will do. RIM will look after three types of tool management. One for pure unmanned running, which is, you can see here, it tells you what tools are running. If I show you the pallet system, these are all the pallets which are active, or all the pallets on the machine. You can then filter this down to active pallets, but these are all the tools required. Yeah. And these are looking at the states of every tool and forecasting the tool life for every tool. Um, the intelligent part about the machine monitoring if this has got no information on the machine mm -hmm. or on the program you're running, it will automatically extract all the tools from the program and teach itself overall run time, process time for each tool and cut time for each tool. So when you run that program again, it's now starting predicting tool life. And it, because it's coming from the machine, it's very, very accurate. If you rely on the CAM system, it could, you could be miles out. I find it amazing the fact that you have actually developed this from scratch, am I right? Yes. Yes, yes. you should be very proud yeah. of yourself it's, there. It started about 17 years ago. Yeah. It's, it's, first of all, when I first started the Matsura, they didn't have anything like this. Yeah. So it's I, I started it and it was called TPS at the time, which was Tools, Pallets and Schedule. And that just allowed the operators to look at the tooling. Many a time you went into a customer and they had a whiteboard on the wall with all the tools, what parts, what oh. tools can I take out, what tools can I put in. This tells you that straight away. So if we look at this, this is, this is the uh, tools used for the unmanned running. But if I go back to the tooling on there, you can see the tools that are scheduled straight away, but tools which are not required, so tools you can take out of the system. Right, okay. So it's not becoming a tool storage facility in the back. Many a time you go into a customer and they've got 80% of the tooling in the back, which has not been used for weeks and weeks and weeks. It's very expensive. We're just scratching the surface here, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, we're just scratching it. It does a lot more for you in there. If you want to check for production run, you can select the programs you're going to run for production. Um, select your programs you run for production. This will calculate it for you. But you can say, I'm going to run that 10 times. Calculate it. And then what this will give you is the tool sequences, all the projected tool life, all the way down, and it then will start telling you, at that time, you're going to run out of tool life. Yeah. So you now, now you've got a choice. Sister tool, or let it stop. Or have someone available when it's going to run out. And that is your weekends, your Weekend. long times off, there's yeah. so much more. So yeah, this is the tool management side. Like I say, there's so much more going on for the tool management yeah. side. We, we can uh, look at a tool library, we can stop tools from going in the machine if this length is incorrect. 
we can send you emails if it machines in alarm condition. But then you've got the data side of it. So every significant change on the machine is captured, whether it's an offset change, work offset change, pallet change, all logs. So the OE data side of it, you capture as well. It's all in the background. That's done automatically in the background and it's shared with anyone within the factory who I, needs it. I feel like we're literally just scratching the surface yes, here. I feel like you could do a good half an hour video yes, on I've, this. Many a time I've stood, <laughs> stood by people and we've done a good half hour just demonstrating the software, what it can actually do for them. So ultimately, what would you say to people are the main benefits to investing in this software? If you want to utilize the machine 95, 100% of the time, you need the tooling management side of it because it gives you that unmanned running. Without that unmanned running, it's just a normal machine. Yeah. So basically, you're saying if you invest in a Matsura, you've still got to push it to its limits. Yeah, yes. And the RIM this software push, can do pushes that. Pushes it all the way. There you have it.